day everyone, so in this video, we are going to assemble a part into a figure. So let's start. So first, create an assembly document and insert those files we need. And the first file or the first component we need is the piston and the base. Then put right here and right here. Then this tube must be made with this hole. So use mate command and mate it inside the hole. After that, we need to insert another component which is the body. Then this space must be made to this space and flip it. Then check. After that, just drag it down. Then insert another components which is the shop then this shop must be inserted into this hole then just insert it and mate it then after that we need to mate it again but this time we will use advance and width so the width selection must be this space and this space then the tab selection must be this space of the shop and this space so it must be centered don't forget it then check it then after that we need to meet the front plane of the piston and the right plane of the shop so for it to be vertical aligned and check it and we will meet again but this time we will use mechanical mate and the mate type is the cam and select this space and this space and check it then after that just fix this shop into this place so the body uh, nor the base rather the base must be in this place so just fix it so the next thing we need to do is to move this base to the top so just float it and drag it upward and fix it again so as we can see the piston is moving using the body then after that we need to insert another component which is the spring so for it to be realistic so this line in the middle must be made in this hole or this tube and make sure it is concentric after that we need to edit this sketch so select this space remove these units then make sure that this point up to this point is coincident and this point up to this line is measured by 3 units only then ex exit sketch then the next thing we need to do is to edit the hole in this part so So edit the sketch. It must be tangent with this line. So exit sketch and exit sketch. So as we can see the spring is not moving. So but in simulation it will move just like the piston. So for this time remo remove or hide this. Line. So the next thing we need to do is to use new motion study. Then set it to 10 seconds. After that, use the settings and set the frames per second to 25. Then use motor. But first, remove this shaft temporarily and hide this. Then use again the motor. 
select this motor and this part and make the RPM by 20 so let's start to simulate it calculate so as we can see the spring is moving upward also just like the piston so for the smooth viewing I will play it again So this is the camp follower. I hope you learned something new on this video. Thank you and God bless.